What up guys, Brinks here, and today I'm going to help you master Smoke's combo game. This video is going to be in two parts. In part one, I'm going to go over all of Smoke's most practical combo starters, teach you how you'll be using them, and explain the overall structure of his combos. Then for part two, it'll be your typical combo video, except I'm going to also show you example situations where you would be landing these combos in a real game. Think of this video as a blend of a character overview and a combo guide. Let's get started. So a good combo is like a good burger. You take your bottom bun, or your combo starter, and then you stack it with as much good shit as you can fit. before you close it off with your top bun or your combo ender. For smoke, you have quite a few options for combo starters and the order and number of ingredients can easily be customized to your liking. He is very much a rushdown character that wants to be up close and making you guess between his overhead and low starter so that he can do a bunch of damage as well as using some of his decent ranged normals and cancels to pressure and whiff punish you. So generally, there are three main building blocks with Smoke's combo structure. You have your grounded strings into your back forward three cancel extensions. You have your forward one, two, one plus three restand string. And then you have your EX teleport roots off of your EX down back 4. If we ignore cameos for a moment, your EX down back 4 combos are going to pretty much all end with an air string, typically your jump 1 1 2. As there's no way to incorporate the other two building blocks or return to the ground for juggling. So once you start going down the route of the down back 4 launcher, you're pretty much locked into only doing air strings or additional EX teleports to extend from there. Whereas the other two building blocks, the forward one, two, one plus three restand and the teleport cancel extensions, they can kind of be interchanged with each other. As you can do strings into cancel into the restand, or you can start the combo with the restand and then you have the option to go into a teleport cancel into something. Or you can even go from the restand into EX down back four and go into that route. So Smoke's combo structure is very versatile in that sense. It's just the only limitation rather is once you start the down back four loops, you're pretty much locked into those. Let's talk about the first building block for Smoke's combos, and arguably the most important one, your back forward three cancels. To perform this cancel, you have to input the back forward three, and then after a slight delay, or visually, when Smoke starts to disappear, you want to input back plus your block button. If you did it correctly, Smoke will flash white, and he'll reappear in place at which point you can immediately input a move. Mastering this cancel lets you meterlessly turn many of your strings into full combos, and in general, it drastically improves the overall synergy of your moves. So I strongly recommend practicing this technique over and over until you get it. Personally, I found it easier to practice it alongside canceling from another move, such as forward one, two, for me, it just felt easier to think about what was coming next with the cancel, while I had the short time of the forward 1-2 animation to anticipate the cancel inputs that I had to do. But once you get consistent with just doing a string into the cancel, the next thing you should get comfortable with is doing a string into the cancel and then doing a 3-2 string out of it since 3-2 will be your most common follow-up after a successful cancel. The window to time this so that it still combos from the cancel is quite small, 
so you have to be quick after they cancel. What I did for this was get myself into the habit of just inputting the three after the cancel with like a tiny delay. If you get the cancel successfully, the three will come out and then you can input the two part so that you can still continue the combo. Since when Smoke does the two kicks for the three, you have enough time to react and then input the two and the window will still register that as a combo and you'll do the rest of the string. If you're too slow at doing this, then the combo counter will start over when the three string hits. But if you're too fast, then nothing will happen after the cancel and the combo will obviously drop again there. Once you master this cancel and getting your follow-ups out of it, we can move on to the second building block and the one that synergizes just as well with the rest of his kit. Let's talk about one of your best and most important moves, your forward 1-2 string. It is a pretty decent whiff punish combo starter given its quick startup and decent range but it's also extremely versatile as it can be used to start combos, extend combos, and set up for your ender. It is a high, unfortunately, but you'll get a lot out of this move. It is very hit confirmable, as the animations take quite a while, so you can definitely react to what's going on and respond accordingly. And also, the full string itself, the forward 1, 2, 1 plus 3, which is also whatever your throw button is, so forward 1, 2, throw, it leads to your down back 4 combos, It can be back forward 3 cancelled into itself. It's very easy to combo into a cameo extension with. It always combos into a down back 2 or down back 1 ender. And finally, it always combos into Fatal Blow. Also, if you just do the forward 1-2 part of the string, it's plus 2 on block, which means you can keep pressuring your opponent with it and force them to block it as there's not much they can do to stop you. You especially can start mixing in the back forward 3 cancels so that you can do forward 1-2, back forward 3 cancel, forward 1-2 again, and really make them guess when you're going to do something that's punishable, and then that's when you can start mixing in your forward 3-2, or throw them and really open them up. This string is your lifeblood. With the exception of your down back 4 roots, the majority of your combos will end in this, into down back 2 for damage, or down back 1 for pressure. The final building block for smoke combos is your down back 4 EX launcher and your air strings. A lot of your grounded strings can combo into down back 4 EX if you have the meter and after the launch smoke is able to perform one of his air normals. In most cases you'll be doing either your jump 1-1 one, one, or your jump 4 into another down back 4 EX or if you don't want to spend the meter or you can't you will be ending the combo with jump 112. These combo routes are fairly straightforward and not very hard to execute. In some cases, there's a bit of nuance to make consecutive down back fours connect, usually involving a slight delay before performing one of the jump 11s, but those things will be covered when they come up in part two.
Smoke's kit gives you a lot of freedom in which direction you choose to go with all your combos, as you can use all three of these building blocks in the same combos or kind of mix and match a bit. But now that we've discussed the three most important pieces of Smoke's kit and combo structure, let's go over his best starters and how they utilize these three building blocks. Let's talk about Smoke's overhead combo starter, his back two. Smoke's back two is a pretty long range whiff punisher. It's not the fastest move, but it's good to punish your opponent if you see them whiff a move when you're close enough to hit them. Be careful just throwing it out though, since it's not the fastest, your opponent can potentially hit you out of it if they see it coming, or if they were already throwing out a projectile. Otherwise, you want to mix between this and your low starter, which we're going to talk about next, when they're in a situation where they have to respect your pressure. For example, if you land a throw, and they don't have the meter to use an armored move, you can potentially open them up with this as they're getting off the ground when they pretty much have to block whatever you're going to do. Now, as for comboing with back two, if you have no meter, your options from a back two are completing the full back two, three, four string, which doesn't lead to any full combos without cameos, but it's a decent bit of damage and it's easy to do. Back two into down back two for a little bit of pressure and a tiny bit of damage. You can do back two three into down back one for a little bit of pressure and a little bit more damage. Or you can do back two into a back four three cancel combo. That's the most consistent way you're going to be able to get a lot of damage off of landing a back two. But, if you do have an ambush cameo, then you can extend after the back 2-3 into a, a beefier combo. Or even use a summon cameo to extend off of just the back 2. However, if you have the bar, then you can combo back to into your down back four EX. Back two is only minus five, so you won't really be punished if the opponent blocks it, but the move isn't the easiest to hit confirm, meaning that it's hard to react to whether the move connected or was blocked before you input your follow-up, so it's a much more committal move to go for outside of situations where you're going to directly whiff punish your opponent. Now let's talk about one of your best moves and low combo starters, your forward three string. This is by far your best pressure tool, especially when mixed in with your back two overhead. It starts low and it comes out in 12 frames, which is very much unreactable. It's also safe on block at only minus four for the forward three two, and minus five if you just do the forward three. Meaning that while your turn is basically over, you won't be punished for doing it. Like back two, forward three two leads to your main grounded combo routes, but only if you can master the back forward three teleport cancel, which is obviously very important. Without the cancel, forward three two only combos into down back two, back forward three, or the full forward three two four string which is also just the end of the string. All of those do very little damage, so if you want to actually be a threat to your opponent, you really need to master the back forward three cancels, since forward three two doesn't combo into down back four without a cameo extension. Unlike back two though, forward three two is a long enough animation that you can react to your opponent being hit by it and go into the correct follow-up. But, beware, the second hit is an overhead, and you can get full combo punished if they up block it. Now let's talk about your best combo extender, 
and one of your best combo starters to punish with. Your 3-2 string leads to some of your highest damage solo combos. Since it starts with a high and it isn't the fastest move, it's going to be the move you go into after your back forward 3 cancels. Or if your opponent does something very unsafe in front of you that you know you can punish. Or if you want an easy high damage combo after you up block and overhead, it's also good for that. Additionally, it's good to extend some combos after certain cameos. And finally, it's only minus 6, which means you won't really be getting punished on block, though your turn is definitely over. It isn't special cancelable, so a cameo won't be able to cover you in that sense. One last note about some of Smoke's other normals. His 1114 string is his fastest button, but it doesn't lead to much damage as it doesn't lead into either the back forward 3 cancel roots or the down back 4 roots. The first hit of the move, also known as your jab, just your standing one, is a pretty good anti air, and the full string does give you a knockdown, however which lets you set up your pressure, but most of the time when you need a quick punish, you'll be going for forward 1-2 instead, as it's only a few frames slower, but with much greater reward, obviously. His 2-1-2 string is similar in that it doesn't lead to his high damage roots. And even off of a back forward 3 cancel, the only thing that combos from it is a 1114 string. It is a high damaging string, but the only real use for it you'll have in combos is for grounded cameo extensions, so you can rack up damage before going into one of your launching options. Now for the down 2 punish, where you can spend 2 bars to launch it, Smoke doesn't really benefit a whole lot from doing this, since you need your bar to extend combos in the air, and it already costs 2 bars just to start the launch from the down 2 in the first place, I haven't really found this to be worth doing, even as an anti-air punish, compared to just using your standing 1 to anti-air, or doing a raw down 2 into an ambush cameo. You'll do more damage for the same or lesser amount of meter. Like, compare these three combos. First, the down 2 punish. All three bars for only about 30% is absolutely abysmal. Then if we use an ambush cameo to convert off of a down 2. It only gets us 33% for 2 bars, at least with Goro in this specific conversion. But you'll see in a second that it can be way better. And now as you can see, we can save our cameo and do close to 40% for only 2 bars which is obviously way better than the down 2 3 bar combo, or even the cameo one. Lastly, Smoke's forward 4 is a plus 8 normal on block, and it launches the opponent, but it leaves you airborne, so there isn't much you can do to follow up without a cameo. And the air down back 4, which is the only thing you can do in the air, doesn't connect in time after the, the launch from the forward 4. Unless you input the down back 4 before the third hit of the forward 4, which is the hit that launches it. So there's some usefulness to it, but in general, you're just probably going to do it raw and get the knockdown pressure instead if you land the full thing. Now, that should be enough to really help you master this character's combos and make people hurt when you get a hit. 
So now for part two, I'm going to showcase what a lot of these combos will look like in realistic situations to give you an idea of how to pull them off in a real match and where you might find success going for a lot of these combos and setups. Thank <laughs> you. 
If you made it this far in the video, you are awesome, and I greatly appreciate you. I hope you found this guide helpful, and if you did, I would be forever grateful if you could leave a like. If you'd like to see more guides like this, please hit that subscribe button, as I plan to make more guides like this for everyone in the game. And I also have plans for guides regarding specific cameo and character pairings. So stay tuned if that sounds like your thing. Otherwise, if you have any questions about anything I've discussed, or you want to request other characters for my next guide, please leave a comment and I will respond as soon as I'm able. Thanks for watching, and until next time, later.